Hall of Fame night continues here at the Alumni Center. The former Rhonda Gardeman joins us of the 1994 Ball State women's volleyball team. Uh, what's it like to go in as a team, to get everybody back together? And um, so often this is an individual honor, uh, but to share it with teammates has got to be fun. It, it is. It's really neat because we haven't seen some of these people, fellow seniors we were talking about, we haven't seen some of these people since we left Ball State. And so, you know, we'll run into each other in the volleyball world. Um, but it is amazing to walk in here and just recognize and the memories just start rolling, so it's neat. I was going to say, what was that experience like when the memories come flooding back and you, I mean, is it like a weird flashback dream <laughs> sequence movie type deal? You know, you think you're 20 again and so it's awesome and then you remember that you're not and there's kids running everywhere and you really don't recall those memories quite like you thought you would. Everybody's much better. Than yeah, exactly. Um, and so it's just neat to, everybody starts talking like as you can tell in the background there's all sorts of blah 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 and I'm not sure any of us have stopped at this point so. What was it like? Uh, when did you find out? What did you think when you found out that this team was going in? And and also the fact that teams have not gone into the Hall of Fame for that many years. So for this to be one of the first teams still to get that honor uh, made you feel what? A hundred percent just um, honor. And it it's amazing to think, you know, we obviously thought we had something really neat when we had it. And, you know, 20 years goes by and you're like, wow, that was, I mean, to look back and to talk about some of the things that we were able to accomplish was, was just um, a really surreal feeling to think that we were one of the better teams at Ball State as the history of Ball State. And, I think the sad thing is that all of our volleyball teams in that few years could not go in because it's all about the seniors that set the pace before us as seniors and really setting us to down the road of success. So very, very humbling. Chance to pat yourself on the back a little bit here. How good was that 1994 <laughs> volleyball team? Well, according to our record, we were pretty, pretty good. Pretty darn good. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Um, you know, we we had a bunch of crazy good athletes that some coaches took and made some great volleyball players out of um, for our time, and we didn't know any better. Um, we just went out and hit the floor every night and just had a lot of fun doing it. And I think that was one of the keys to our success was just going hard and having a great time doing it. You know, I, when you have these conversations, it's so easy to say, like, what was fun about it? And I'm sure the winning was fun and the matches were fun. Uh, but so often the answers are the camaraderie and the, the bus time and the traveling together and the friendships. Um, what was most fun? And maybe the answer is winning. I don't know. Uh, but when you look back on it, what do you remember most fondly about that group? Exactly what you said. I think um, the memory that always comes back to us is our plane trip to Penn State. Um, you know, we are in the MAC and don't get to travel by, especially that many years ago. Yeah. And the fact that we were chartered um, to fly into Happy Valley was, I mean, probably the highlight of that whole trip, you know? Um, and so that was one of the best memories, but I would agree with what everybody says. It really is the road trips. It's the same place as you eat and the same complaints you get and the, the sharing of homework and the sharing of misery and the sharing of excitement and just the, the peaks and valleys of living with a team. And I think that's what's amazing is you're together for four years like that and then you separate and you all go your different ways. But tonight, coming back together and just really being able to embrace that and relive that is just really special. Rhonda, congratulations. Enjoy it, all right? Thank you.